I'm Jason Savoy, Environmental Product Manager here at Symmetrics. Today we're going to cover the battery replacement on a PT2X level sensor and a CT2X level conductivity and temperature sensor. Right here I have my green soft jaws. They magnetically clip in to a standard vise and provide a nice rounded piece right here to actually grab this probe by. I can, am going to grab it by the knurled end with the soft jaws. You can see they buckle a little bit and grab the cable down below. I'm going to push down, and it may be easier if you use gloves, but I'm going to push down and twist to the left. Once it's loose, I can release it from the soft jaws. That's all I need to actually get that apart. And as you can see, we now have a gap. Now that we've loosened the threading on the soft jaw vise, by gripping the knurled end, we're gonna continue the process with by hand. Again, we don't wanna use mechanical tools on the body or it's a could deform and ruin the seal. We're gonna to continue to twist until we see both O-rings. At that point, we wanna pull out gently and we'll see the threads and then the connector. Once I see the connector, I wanna to try to grab it by the wires in the connector on top and pull a little bit farther and I'll see the battery spring. I'll make a little noise and then we're gonna rotate and disconnect the connector right here. Next, we just gotta tap out the batteries. We wanna be careful with the connector and the wires while disconnect, while tapping out the batteries. One, two. This is the same process on a CT2X or Tempion as well. So you can see, same process to disconnect. And the batteries are right in there. But we're gonna continue by just using a PT2X. Next, we're gonna inspect our O-rings. We're gonna look for any flattening, tears, abrasion on them, and also the square O-ring. If the tension on the square O-ring is not holding it tight to the threads any longer, this will be need to replace as well. You can access the O-rings typically by pinching and rolling them off. In this case, these O-rings are okay, so I don't need to replace them today. But if we need to, remember to order the proper O-rings from Symmetrics so you have them handy. Now we're ready to reinstall new batteries. Please know that Symmetrics recommends using lithium batteries versus alkaline batteries. Alkaline batteries do off-gas while they're in the chamber, and the acids could actually build up corrode the connectors, or worse yet, corrode the board. I'm going to insert the new batteries, negative end first, which is the flat side, the positive side being with the little button at the top. Next, we want to reconnect to the connector here. Once that's connected, there's only one way to get it right. I'm going to go ahead and push down on the spring so it goes in nice and easy. Rotate the connector back in. I'm going to slowly push together. I'm going to make sure this dimple matches up with this thread right here. And I can slowly twist it, put it back together. If I can't get that little gap done by hand, you may want to disassemble again and dust, double check and make sure you didn't pinch any wires or snag a wire, or it may just take a soft jaw vise to get that final seal down. Now that we're done replacing batteries, we're going to want to reconnect this to a computer and test it. 
Last of all, we're going to connect our PT2X, CT2X, or Tempion back to the computer. Scan for the device. It connects. We've done everything correctly. Now we're free to go ahead and set up our next logging. Thank you for joining us on the battery replacement for the PT2X, CT2X, and Tempheon sensors.